In this video, I'm going to show you how to create good bar charts with ggplot. We start by loading the tidyverse. Then we create a dataset by using the mpg dataset and ensuring that the manufacturers are spelled with a capital letter. With this data, we can create a basic bar chart. Because we cannot read a thing in this chart, we add a larger and better font with the minimal. Notice that the labels almost overlap. In order to avoid that, we switch the role of the x and y axes. Next, let us sort the bars by sorting the underlying factor variable. By reverting the factor order, we can also revert the orders of the bars. Now we can get rid of superfluous axis labels and create a title. The grid lines of the y-axis clutter our bar chart, so let's remove them with theme. We can also give our title a different font and make it a little bit larger. Personally, I like to align the title with the plot. In any case, we should remove the extra spacing in front of the manufacturer labels. Now, let us label the bars directly with a GM text layer, where we compute a new data set and use that data for our mapping. We also have to make sure that the labels are inside the bar and are legible. Now that we have labels, we can get rid of the grid altogether using the theme function and the scale function. If we want, we can create one vertical line so that the bars start at the common vertical line. Next, let us create an alternative bar chart. We start by making the bars narrower. Then we move the bars a little bit to make room for labels. Of course, we have to move our previous labels and we have to add a color and make the labels more legible. Now we create more labels with another GM text layer in which we compute a new data set. This step is important because we want to get a single label for each bar instead of a lot of overlapping labels. Then we use that data to create a mapping and we use the same steps from before to make the labels legible. Finally, we get rid of the superfluous labels and then we're done. This was the perfect bar chart in 150 seconds. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.